Yo, what's going on everyone? Black Halo here. Today, we're playing Kha'Zix. I'm gonna be about maybe four seconds late. Five? Seven. Seven seconds late, so not a big deal. But my team is in here. So it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. So, anyways, Kha'Zix abilities. So, unseen threat. Nearby enemies that are isolated um, from their allies are marked. Kha'Zix abilities have interactions with isolated targets. So when Kha'Zix is not visible to the enemy team, he gains unseen threat causing his next base attack to till, till an additional 20 plus 2 bonus magic damage which scales off of how much AD he has and he slows them by 25% for 2 seconds. So yes, hybrid champion. The reason why Kha'Zix is so good because when you get so fed and you're in isolation with targets, man, you do a lot of damage. So that's the objective. You just farm up, scale, and do damage. We should win this game, honestly. Um, yeah, the matchups we have for today, Jax versus Garen. Um, Nocturne versus me. Kha'Zix is in the jungle. Um, Velcro versus... Yasuo mid and Kate versus Beager bot ADC versus APC and Leona versus Senna. I see that they have a lot of all-in potential um, which is not good versus us but we'll see what we can do we'll have to avoid all of their CC if we wanna win this game which is actually a challenge so yeah, if you are enjoying me playing these Kha'Zix guides and making gameplays like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel because I will be doing it more often. That's the plan, to do this. Play Kha'Zix. So we see him on the map. Finally, for the first time, he's ganking, and he doesn't get anything from it, which is very, very, very good. If the jungler shows on the map, ganks doesn't get anything from it because he successfully wastes time you're farming and it's clear that you're doing the right thing so yeah we're gonna go back also let me know what type of videos you want to see if you're interested in anything else because now we're get, gonna keep talking about the abilities next we're gonna talk about the runes and also the build so let's keep going so we already talked about unseen threat don't forget we gotta catch these noobs in the fog of war when they don't have vision so yeah, um, also taste their fear, deals 85 plus 33 physical damage. If the target is isolated, the damage is increased by 100%, which is also scaling by another attack damage amount, as you can see by the tooltip. So evolve Reaper Claws. When you evolve this ability, when you hit level 6, 11, and 16, well, you can only do it one time for one ability, so basically, when you get this evolution, it increases the range of your um, ability, and also, it results in your basic attacks being increased by 50 extra hit points. So that's good. I'm trying to gank this lane, but he's too low. Unfortunate. I could. I thought like you might have gotten ganked. Also, I could have counter ganked there for sure. So lots of reasons to be patient in that scenario that I set. Teammate asked the question, <laughs> so I answered in video format. Wow. I didn't want to miss that. Like who would have wanted to miss that, right? Stop, that is actually beginning to distract me, these teammates. So anyways, you see Velcro's roam top for some reason. I made sure to smite that so I didn't die. I didn't notice that the Velcro's ran up there or else I would have cleaned the MIA. I can't farm anymore either because Velcos is also most likely there. If he comes, I can eat over this wall. 
Nocturne soloed the dragon because they have the pressure on our mid lane. And mid lane is honestly just the heart of the game. But we do have the farm advantage since Velko is just roamed and that's pretty much what he knows how to do. But as you can see, sacrificing farm to roam, you helped another teammate. So uh, yeah, that was the play. Anyways, yeah, when the target is isolated too, I forgot to read this. It refunds 45% of taste their fears cooldown. Okay, so top is winning really good I want to make sure bot is okay I drop a war just in case the jungler's here because I would expect him to be bot side since his buff is spawning very good reasoning there Okay, so I have a really good rotation going on right now. Just rotating well around your jungle and farming quickly will result in you getting your levels faster. That's what really matters. So your W is called your Void Spike, it fires exploding spikes in a linear fashion, in a line. And when they reach their final destination to whatever they hit, they explode in a radius, like a circle or a cone type radius. And it deals damage to surrounding enemies. That's pretty much it. And yeah, when you evolve it, it's three of them. I evolved that ability the least. It's good for wave clear also revealing vision on enemy buffs. Well, not necessarily enemy, but any type of camp buff. You can shoot an evolved W and reveal the vision. You got him at least. pretty good. I'd say it's rather impressive because it's early. But then again it's Velcos and he's getting dumped in the CS. I say mid diff. Heavy mid diff this game. For sure. So we got lucky here. Usually it's the opposite. Like I said, mid is the heart of the game. Run it down mid. It's always a good option. Because you can get the first turret that way. I need to go back for sure. I have Warrior here, along with Boots. Okay, they should definitely just turn on this dude here. Because she would have died. Anyways, I think I kill him, maybe. Got him, clean. Okay, maybe I can catch this Caitlyn for overstaying. Then again, no. I mean, if we do this right, we can, for sure. We can. Let's ward it, though. Okay. I know he's mid.
probably shouldn't do this. That was actually not too bad. You can still do this. Pretty good game for me so far. Hope you all enjoying. I am. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a snowball effect from here. As long as things don't get out of hand, which honestly, not underestimating my enemy team at all here. So we'll see how it goes. I'm glad I can farm this. Yeah, so generally you don't want to walk up for CS. At all. Just don't walk up for the CS. I can get this bot crab. You know not turn was just top side. Goku's is typing in chat. I gave that on purpose, by the way. Team player, for sure. Because he leashed it for me the first time. He managed to take my red. It's quick. Enemy jungler did. Holy. This dude's playing. Actually playing the game. All I need to do is back. Okay, I'm trolling or what? What is he doing? It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Because if you go mid, you have a higher chance of dying. Because I dealt damage. Maybe you just tilt it. Because honestly, I wouldn't expect the jungler to be uh, farming at this point in the game. So that's... I like that.
was overstaying. I hit my abilities. That's so worth. He also still got him. <laughs> Bigger just hits are here. Yeah. Yes, I'm He's so mad. I wish it have waited for Senna. Oh, that was close. Okay, so the runes that I'm running, Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, along with Nimbus Cloak, and Water Walking. I already had this in my last video. And in the thumbnail.
So the dragon's gonna be up. I wanna clear my top side ASAP. Both over state. I mean, now he, he doesn't have ult for dragon. Why is he top? Why would anybody be top right now? I mean, other than to kill somebody overextended, like the enemy team, but like, why would our team be top? This makes no sense. This dude thirsty. Damn it. I actually could have killed him. I actually could have killed Jax. <laughs> a fun game. <laughs> I like this one. There's nothing wrong with farming. What is this? All you did was farm. 
Okay, duh. Baited, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you? 